For my time here in Kiribati, I would find it necessary to have an outer island experience. There are so many islands, which means there are so many choices to choose from. The question is, where would I go? I would eventually choose to go north. The island of choice? Butaritari. Like a lot of the places I travel to, Butaritari doesn't really have a story. There's no real reason why I came here. Just a few weeks ago, I met these two Americans at Funafuti, and they told me that they stayed in this island called Butaritari. And that's when it popped up on my radar. I decided to go to Air Kiribas, said I want to go to Butaritari, got my ticket, and here I am. I made it. I didn't exactly have a plan coming here. I got off the flight and just decided to go with the flow. But the same two Americans told me to look for one person because they own a brand new resort. As soon as I got off the plane, I went ahead to try to look for this person. Next thing you know, I am being welcomed into a family and staying in their beautiful overwater buoy. Welcome to my home in Budari Dari. This place is sweet, with plenty of space, plenty of comfort, and lots of relaxation. The bed is really comfortable, and the views are absolutely gorgeous. You can see one end of the island and some other islands in the distance. To no surprise, resources are limited. Electricity is limited to solar energy. If there's no sun, there is no power. Water is limited to rainwater. It's pretty green here, so it rains quite often, so there's an abundance of water to drink. We also have well water used for drinking and showering and cooking. I like your boat. <laughs> And best of all, my stay here, I've been blessed to, to be able to stay and connect with the family here. Taking me in as one of their own. Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Clink. And not just providing me with the comfort <laughs> of my stay here, but allowing me to have a cultural connection here. They allow me to join them for meals throughout the day. Okay, head start. Oh. <laughs> The family are like most Kiribati people, they're very warm, very welcoming, and they're more than welcome to take you as their own, as family. Enjoying good chat, good company, drinking kava, even had traditional earth oven cooking. Umu. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. True way, baby. Yeah. Dig in, boys. It's a lot of simplicity here in the island. There isn't too much to do. So when you kick back and just chill here, that's all there is to do. I've stayed in a bunch of villages and did some homestays across the island, so this kind of way of living is something I'm used to. But for someone who's coming here straight from the first world, it might be a surprise. But to be honest, if you're into living like a local and experience things in a new perspective, this is the place to be. 
They don't have this kind of concrete back oh, in yeah. the day. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they put them on the marks or Wow. Surreal. See it in person. Butari Tari may not be a well known name in the world, but if you know the name Makin, like Beso Island in Tarawa, this was also the site of Japanese occupation. The Americans came in, defeated the Japanese forces, and from what I'm told, Americans are seen as heroes here. It's crazy to know that throughout all my travels and how I've been led here, I just so happened to be here during the 75th anniversary of the fighting that took place here. What an absolute honor. <laughs> For YouTube, for the world. Howdy, howdy. Kind of overwhelming to be a part of something huge, just a major part of history, a turning point in history, especially for locals here in Kiribati. But it's an absolute honor to be a part of this. For my travels in Kiribati, I wanted to at least once be invited into a maniapa to attend <laughs> some kind of cultural ceremony of some sort, and today was the day that happened. Told that it's quite rude to refuse an offer to dance if someone comes to dance with you you get up and you dance <laughs> yeah. i almost refused but after i heard the custom i and i danced <laughs> Still to wake up at 5:30, and then waking up at quarter to five. It took about an hour and a half to reach one end of the island to the other, and to beat the sun, it makes sense to start off early. The ride is absolutely gorgeous. It's like being in another planet. Definitely a new perspective of life on a small island like this. As a solo traveler, I am blessed to be joined up with a family. Enjoy the day with them here. One of the local shrines on the island and it's uh, custom to buy some tobacco leave it leave it for the spirits and i guess a local chief or someone higher up takes it on behalf of your offering and your gift
There are plenty of activities to enjoy here on the island. You can take tours around the island. You can see some of the World War II relics on the island. You can watch the locals go fishing or even join them, whether it's at night or during the day. Or you could do it like me, take it day by day and just enjoy the culture that surrounds you here. It's quite amazing. Butari Tari Island is definitely a perspective, a new perspective into life on an atoll. But it's been absolutely incredible. It's beautiful here. The people are super friendly, very inviting, very welcoming, like the family here. Palusami. Palusami? So all that with the food and the oil is called Palusami? Yeah. The people here are awesome, especially the kids. They see a foreigner in Imatang. They yell out to you, to greet you, give you a thumb, give you a wave, or even come at you, give you a fist bump, high five. Or some might even call you over to join them. This is the Putari Dari Tori, man. Putari. We call it this one Pure. Yeah, right? Pure. Yeah, that's why it's Pure. Salud, bro. Salud. Take it away. In your language, take it away. Take it I've been super blessed. I feel like there was something that was leading me to stay here, something that was guiding me. And it was just something that was meant to be, to come to this island and stay here. All the decisions I made in my travels that led me here, I am, I have no regrets and I'm very happy and grateful. Sometimes the best experiences in travels are ones that you don't plan. Just pick a place, go, and let the adventure take the wheel.